after Jim. the game, Weber said, uh, talking about Dejuan, uh, he's actually starting to become our leader. I don't know if the older guys want that, but he's gotten to the point where he wants them to play at a different level. I was just curious your thoughts on that, Xavier. Uh, definitely, you know, Dejuan does a great job of pushing everybody. Even coming in as a freshman, just talking up, uh, being vocal as he is, does a good, great job just coming out and competing every day. Xavier, how frustrating are stretches like you guys had open up that second half where you just can't get any points there? Uh, definitely frustrating. You know, we, we work a lot on offense as well. Uh, we were uh, having some good defense possessions as well in the game. Uh, just sometimes, sometimes it didn't go our way. But uh, we've been working a lot this weekend, uh, um, just, just keeping the ball moving, um, getting a lot of uh, different people open for different things. Well, what's holding you guys back there in that stretch to open the second half? Uh, just just went through a rough patch, you know, uh, during the second half of the game. Uh, and that was just pretty much it. Dejan, what would you say you've been doing to act more like a leader? Um, just tell them how I feel. If they messing up, I'll try to tell them. And if they, if they, if I ask them what I'm doing wrong too. So just trying to be a vocal, be more vocal. Is that something you envision doing coming in as a freshman? Yes. Just st being myself. I've always been kind of a leader, so I just try to lead no matter what. So just want help. How important was it for you, even as? You guys were down by double digits late in the game to continue to bring the same kind of effort and intensity that you had the whole game. I still feel like we still had a chance to win, even though we were down 14, 15, four minutes ago. I still think we had a chance to win. So, so I'm continue to play hard, try to win. What were your thoughts on uh, Coach Weber? You know, saying that you're kind of becoming the leader of this team. I mean, you're not even halfway through your first Big 12 season. Uh, just happy you see me back in that way. Just gonna keep trying, keep pushing. Xavier, what's this season like been for you after the last three years with all the success you've had to now go through some some bumps? Uh, it's definitely uh, a change of tide, you want to say. You know, I haven't been used to accustomed to losing, so I've uh, been here, been winning my whole career here at K State. Uh, but it's just something that we have to learn through and get through and uh, get over this hump. Dave, well, in terms of this, the leadership stuff we're hearing a lot about, was that something that the coaches challenged you, or is that something you just looked around and said, I need to start being more vocal? No, they haven't told me anything about it. I'm just tired of losing. So I just got to try to push my guys in a certain kind of way. Dave, when you're facing a, a team in Texas Tech that really likes to get after it defensively a lot like you, it's the first time you've faced them, obviously. what's uh, what, what do you think of facing another defensive-minded team? Uh, just talking to the coaches on the way they play defense and seeing, talk to them about a way how to score a different kind of way because obviously they got scout reports so they're going to look at the way. My team scores, so just talk to the coaches and the way they play defense and how they get scored on. Xavier, have you noticed in the film with Texas Tech, are they still, yeah, after losing some guys, they're still pretty intense defensively? Well, I definitely know what they're uh, capable of. They're still a pretty defensive good team in the nation right now. Uh, been been going against them for three years now. They do some of the same things, so uh, they don't have some of the athletes that they used to have back in the day, but uh, they still have a great team. We have a great chance of uh, uh, coming out with a win. Another thing Coach Weber said uh, that I read was that you have the heart of a lion. Where did that come from? Uh, just growing up in Chicago, playing basketball, not getting, not being given anything, having to work for myself, being in the gym late at night with my uncle, just not being scared of nobody. You feel like you're kind of on the verge of erupting. It seems like you're getting a little bit better every game. Uh, I think so. As long as, I, as long as my teammates keep pushing me, my coaches keep pushing me and that I have to try to play basketball, just being able to work hard. Xavier, what's your impression of how the team has handled the adversity you faced the last few games? Uh, it's definitely been a, a positive out of what we have had. Uh, we've seen a lot of guys fight through a couple of things, a lot of guys doing a lot of tough things uh, on and off the court for us right now. Uh, like I said, just doing the right things right now to get over that hump. And I feel like our guys are doing a great job of that and listen to, listening and executing to Coach's plan. What do you think is missing right now? What do you think the team needs to do better to start winning some games? Uh, just being more, just more locked in and focused in those in those uh, three minute wars that we call in the, mid in the middle of the game. You know, uh, we get sometimes lax and casual. So just getting better at being more, just more uh, into the game at all at all uh, points of the game. And I feel like we have a great chance of uh, breaking the season open. How do you feel physically, X, with taking that nasty fall against Texas and taking a few falls this year? Uh, ice and Trippin is doing me well. I'm feeling pretty good and ready to go for the next game. What were your impressions of Texas Tech last year when they didn't go on the run they made during the tournament? 
Uh, you know, they always been a hard nosed, gritty team uh, with great guys like Jared Culver last year, uh, Mooney, Owens, a lot of a lot of good guys on that team last year uh, to help them pro uh, propel themselves in the way they did at the end of the year. Uh, still got a lot of guy, good guys left on the team, but I feel like we still have a good chance of coming out and unbeating those guys here, man.